This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. All right, guys. Um, I just wanted to apologize first for not having a video on Sunday. Um, I got real sick on Friday. I was sick pretty much the whole weekend. So basically, I, uh, I kind of took the time off just to make sure I could, you know, live. <laughs> so. What I want to do is instead I'm going to basically have a video on something that's going to pass through my hands and go to someone else, but while I have them, I may as well do a review. As some of you may have known, there's been a series called the Acid Frog Skins, which just came out recently. They should still be available on oakley.com, so if you want to grab those, get them now before the scalpers do. Um, I've got four out of the five colors here. The person that wanted them didn't want the crystal black and... You know, if you're going to spend, you know, that much money on a couple pairs, I guess you'd probably just go for the real high, the high pop ones. So what we have here is the so-called crystal pink, the crystal orange, the crystal yellow, and the crystal blue. Now, the crystal pink, people are saying, you know, that looks more like crystal red. I hope it doesn't look like crystal pink. I can let you know that this thing is indeed crystal red. Um, there's really nothing here that looks at all like pink and even this video makes it look a little lighter than it is this thing is a nice nice deep red just to show you the comparison I brought out one of my originals this is a gen 2 hard to see this is a gen 2 crystal red frog skin original and by gen 2 I do not mean recent I mean not the metal uh, hinge and I will get into the generations of the earlier frog skins later when I start to cover those pairs but basically if you take a look at this pair versus this pair you're not going to see much difference and this one was officially called crystal red this one's called crystal or acid pink whatever they want to call it I don't see a difference I mean they are identical there's really nothing to really see as a difference there so um, the one interesting thing is that the lens looks looks so much clearer. Or maybe it's just because I have a microfiber bag. That's right. All right. So for all purposes, it's crystal red. We can call it acid pink or whatever we want to call it. This one is the crystal or acid orange. And this, this camera is really blowing things out. Let me see if I can turn down the contrast a bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right. So this is basically acid orange. Really bright insanely bright real nice color back here we have acid yellow this is insane this is probably the brightest one of them all I mean this thing this thing changes color depending on how you turn it I mean sometimes it's crystal green sometimes it's crystal yellow actually hold on acid. oh no nope, sorry this is acid green I made a mistake yeah so this is acid green um, for all purposes, yeah, it could be acid yellow, yellow green, whatever you think. But, you know, depending on how you, you turn it, it's going to be all different colors. And then finally, we have the acid blue. Yes, blue. And this one's nice, too. Um, I probably should have gotten out my 5 3.0s because I know there was a crystal blue that came out around then. Which was different than the previous crystal blue, which had been like on like the early M frames and things like that. Um, just to kind of see if a comparison, it, just by eyeballing it, this does look a lot deeper. This almost looks like the lithium frame on the early Fates, um, just because it is very deep. It's not, it's not the blue like the true blue we normally see. It's almost like a very very dark deep blue, but still like in a crystal frame. So. Um, you know, there's the microfiber bag. I don't want to undo these because I want to sort of keep them in, um, you know, the way they are because I'm going to put them right back in the boxes when I'm done. And so I don't really want to unfurl them. But if you kind of take a look at it, you can see that the, you know, the bag has some nice artwork on it. Looks very nice. One of the real cool things is that they use the old fashioned tag on this. So this is what the tag used to look like on the original frog skins. That's real cool to have that sort of historical piece on that, you know, just sort of as a throwback. So, I'm going to kind of give you a look of all the boxes and the glasses. So, I just want to give you a real quick look at those. Uh, they're retailing for 110 
And if you go to oakley.com, you should still be able to get some of them. So if you like them, go grab them because I'm not sure how long they're going to last. And it'd be a shame to pass them up. I'm almost regretful. I'm not going to pick any up, but I just don't have any money right now. So, so be it. But it's kind of cool to have them passed through my hands. I'm able to look at them. I'm able to see how cool they are. And I highly recommend this to anyone who collects frog skins or just likes a really cool pair of glasses. Okay, uh, another thing is this is also for another person I'm sending overseas because fortunately if you live overseas you don't have the same access to things that we do. This is the Jupiter microfiber bag. And when I say Jupiter, I do not mean the model. I mean this guy. Uh, if you remember way back when, and I think I had this as one of my trivia items in a previous review back before I decided to give up on those. Um, the frog that was used to advertise the original frog skins was a pet, and his name was Jupiter. And as of the release of the Jupiter model, he's been popping up all over the place. And if you take a look at one of the, uh, the Oakley Facebook stream, they posted a video on one of the trophies they created lately. And it had a frog on top of like a, a grenade or a landmine or something like that. And basically Jupiter has been popping up all over the place. Um, I believe there's going to be some signature series with him on it in the future but i don't have really solid details on that so do keep an eye out for that but uh basically this is just a regular microfiber bag it's you know it's the ordinary size possibly you know, might be a little oversized for like x metals it actually looks like a pretty big one uh but basically you know nice artwork front to back nice you know lines with the kind of the scatter text here and all that such uh, it is kind of a little pricey. I mean, normally the black bag bags go for like six to seven dollars, and that's kind of a lot. But these ones go for ten, four bucks shipping. So you end up paying about double for one of these. But it's a really cool piece. Um, you know, if you're into collecting the, the the bags, which I used to before they just came out with like five hundred of them, it's a nice piece to add. So again, sorry for not having a video, or an official video on Sunday, but I will come and try to make one for next Sunday, which will be on the moon. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this, and take care. Thanks.